Why your own fist? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder. What next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, uh, did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, uh, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh, Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Attention. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If Artyom finds their signal... Wait a moment, what was that? Listen, everyone! Area 18-5. I repeat, proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is called... So, is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out, the Bring mirror. what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> 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 it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> oh, 
Come Bob on! Bob Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name! Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's trick to the Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. Get back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Full oh, steam ahead. Uh, wow, oh, that's, uh, that's some I distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? Expecting an arrow from a Cupid, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker instead. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because I know you. Just so you know, scars attract the ladies. And there's definitely a lot of those up ahead. I don't need a lot, really. It's quality that matters. It seems to me, whether it was intended or not, that our colonel now has a goal to strive for because of you. We all remember the way you fought back in D6, so no matter what lies ahead, we're with you. You can count on us. Yeah, yes. As for me, I'm running a little inventory check. It is kind of cramped in here. I'm thinking of making something of a workbench. Well, hello there, I don't. These people could have called me out there to drink to Aurora. I still think Bill's a Bob was a better name. <laughs> uh, by the way, did you come to trade places with me? Or did you just want some exercise? I heard that. Monotonous labor calms you. Well, well. Help yourself. Because, frankly speaking, I'm a bit tired here. The only good thing about this job is that you forget it's winter. <laughs> if only you didn't have to pay for this comfort later, with your whole body in on the dark ones. Was the air bitter then? Who knows though? Had you not launched those missiles, you'd probably never have climbed that building or received that signal. Life is weird. Huh? One random event drags another with it, like leaks in a chain. Well, it sure seems safer to believe 
But then, I just couldn't keep the charade up. Then the security officer told me straight, whoever you speak to, dies. The whole station dies with him if need be. So, that's how it went. But when I saw you, and then Artyom, I knew I wasn't alone anymore. You can't just keep these things in. Now I understand why you helped us back then. Thank you. Don't mention it. God willing, it won't end up being done in vain. Yes. Have you ever taken a train beyond city what's done is done. Yes, I didn't stop you from going outside. Yes, I tried to talk you out. Yes, I didn't tell you you're not the only ones to survive. But even I didn't have the clearance. I'm not back then. This is a state secret. Do you understand? I've been granted clearance only after I fight to protect the D6. They said they needed me to teach their recruits because the war was still on. Don't you think I was shocked? What did our people in D6 die for? What did I lose my legs for? But I understood. Because the war was still on. Security was paramount. Our people would have understood. So please, do the same. He would have spilled the beans to everyone in Metro. You're a goddamn Prometheus, a messiah. You must lead the people out of the caves. Do you think you would have saved anyone? Remember that jammer? What if Moscow has been found out because of you? What if there are missiles inbound? Anyways, no matter what they think of me, I'm no deserter and will never become one. I'm ready to bear full responsibility for everything. But if there is even the smallest chance to earn my pardon, I will take it. Which means that we, like a runner that tripped, need to keep running ever faster just to keep balance. And don't dare you trip us all over again. Am I understood? I hope I am. <gasps> Didn't get the chance to go. I used to be a metro train engineer. I worked on the ring line. Throws anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Shots fired! Four bogies on a trolley! You should probably get to the bridge! Are you alright, Artyom? Damn! They pierced the cylinder! How about this? Can we move? No, we're stuck! Ah, oh, shit! Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? It's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. The village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Archim too? 
as backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just Let's fine. Let's go, Artyom. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. I gotta check out that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for defensive action. Stepan, Damir, get the perimeter. I'm on yes, the sir. Stuck. I need you to recon the immediate area. Got that, sir. Idiot, you give him cover from the Aurora. Yes, don't sir. forget your backpack. Sir. It's a new model. A portable yes, workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. Well, that's all. Good luck, I gotta guys. say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy, enslaved or something. Going down. Haha, <laughs> that was great! <gasps> What was that? Could you check it out? I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. Look, a rabbit! A boat. You won't have to go swimming after all. The locals probably get around mainly by boats. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg.
tower, waving a rag or something. Please investigate. I see people at the church. None seem to be armed. We'd better try the open approach. Let's not fire first, okay? Would teach them. Yes, they are not worthy of the protection of the Zod. Exile them! Make them repent! Patience, brothers and sisters! Patience and tolerance! For ye must accept thy name! won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen in this place all the that year. Arriving under the cover of fog. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silentia has fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Artyom, she's right. Get to the boat. We will rescue her later. Don't worry. Go! Nasty and I can get to your train by ourselves. Sticking to our holy father like leeches? I'd give them a piece of my mind. <sighs> well, the fish will get them all.
and from the sin of negligence of Megan. Intentional or unintentional. Artyom, I can't cover you when you're inside. I'm changing position to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine. Father Salenti has finished his sermon. There was a flash of terror. Oh, you are hell finished. Repent. Confess your sins. Did they smell sulfur? The will count in your favor when the no, judgment day comes. But they say that the satanic machine has a vat with sulfur and a vat with oil in it. And whoever gets seduced by the heretics gets boiled in one of them. Women in oil, men in sulfur. <laughs> and you believe them? That machine only has coal and water. All right, let's go look for him then. Grab him by the tail or horns when you find him. Some <laughs> shall I will sure hit the sword. protect me. Yeah, it would be nice to miss the morning mass. You can do that if you're on a patrol duty. And again, people don't like that. Watch over there. Nothing. Have you Please be the fish. Or should I look for him myself, brethren? The devil is looking out for his spawn. Keep looking, my children, for he is about. They don't care about true protectors of faith. Those brown nosers sticking to our holy father like leeches. I give them a piece of my mind. I can. Where did they find those unrepentant sinners? The heretic? Ha! Well, just... just shoot me! Come on! I wish you'd just shot me. That's it, I... I give up! Praise be to 
our fish, the protector of the people. Oh, fish, save the faithful from death, and protect them from wrath of human and beast alike. Hey, if they say you worship the devil, that true? Will you teach me? I'd make a good apprentice. A really, really good one. Come on, teach me. Please, why are you leaving? Wait. Fish, the protector of the people. Oh, fish, save the faithful from death. Protect them from wrath of human and beast alike. That's it! I give up! Don't sweat! Praise be to the starfish, the deliverer of the souls of the faithful to the heavenly gates. Quietly, without bloodshed. They're bound to hate us even more now. Oh well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there. What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry. Told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Anna has already reported on the call.
feels so dumb. I should have landed on that field. We were still flying and it looked like we could have gone on for some time. And then that damn power line. But really, what difference does that make anyway? We're not getting to Moscow from here. That's for sure. I don't really give a damn. I'm all alone with the others. You're alive! Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artem, a moment. Artyom, stop by my desk once you're done talking to the old man. I've got something for you. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we're to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yermak can't handle the repairs alone. So, once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? 
I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, that is with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all lucked out with Anna. She's a total dead-eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Thank you.